hello. We are back Monday morning and we have an interesting job. Okay? We have a phone, it's a Mi 9 phone. And this is a common fault on uh, on these phones. But let's have a look together, yeah? The phone is not charging, it's not coming on. But the interesting part <coughs> when we connect the charger. Let me find an adapter, it's a USB-C ch uh, <coughs> charger. Pay attention on, uh, on the meter. The light goes off. So there is a short, okay? One more time, plug in the charger. And goes off. Okay? And my thing is not even coming on. Hopefully it didn't get burned. Yeah, it's working. Okay, so this can happen on many phones. And most of the case, it is the charging port. So it charging pins, they get bent and they get shorter. So when you plug the charger, it is a short. But not on this case. Okay, so on this case, what do we have here? We have a nice charging port. So I can't see, I can see that the thing is bent, I can't see it. I can see the case is bent, but the charging port looks fine, yeah, so I can see the pins are there. I can't, I can't see anything wrong with this charging port, okay? Good. This phone has been uh, on another phone shop for two weeks, yeah, and the customer took it and he brought the phone here. So, uh, we have to fix it, okay? From what I see, the case is not, the back, the back uh, cover is not stick properly. Yeah, it's lifting, so we can open the phone easily. Clearly, you can see this was open before. So let's have a look at the charging port and follow the the charging voltage and see where it's getting shorted, yeah? Because obviously there is a short and it, it, it's not on the charging port, not on this case. But it's an interesting fault because the component, which is faulty, it's, it, it is on most of the phones. I know what it is, it's a common fault on this phone. It's a common fault on any phone when you are using uh, a dodgy charger. Okay? The first thing is what you have to do when you have a case like this, just disconnect the cables and try again, okay? Just to be sure the short is here or here, yeah? Just to understand where is your problem. Plug in the charger and you can see the, the light still goes off on, the, on my charger. So our short is on this board. You can buy the whole board but what's the point when you can fix it quickly, you know? You'll see, go, go, going over the years, you'll start getting bored doing the things right. Yeah, so... I can't see any pleasure buying a charging port, replacing the charging port. Just buying this board with the charging Because you can find probably this on eBay. I'm not sure if you can find it, but anyway, let's say you can find it. Is buy it and replace it. It's quite boring, you know. It's nothing exciting. Okay. So on the charging port, you can't really see anything. The charging port has some uh, things stuck. But check next to the charging port. What do we have next to the charging port? Huh? What do we have there? I don't know if you can see, 
but that chip is blow up you can see it let's use a little bit of petrol if you can find that if I can find it I can find it yeah so we have some petrol let's plug the charger you can see so clearly that thing is on short what's that thingy yeah, that's very important this is a it, it is a chip which is just passing the voltage and it's meant to protect the phone against uh, any high voltage coming on the on uh, or inverse voltage coming on the USB-C port that's why I told you this can be on many phones and I know even Samsung has this this thingy there okay what we can do in this case first let's remove let's remove it yeah first let me find a small nozzle hot air that's the first step to remove it because obviously it is shorted so it's just on the on the on your main on your voltage track this component is passing the voltage and also it's connected to ground has probably some uh, tenor diode which which uh, it will go short if something goes wrong yeah okay so we took it out so we can see clearly two pins and one big pin which is probably ground but you can check with the multimeter to be sure multimeter that mode let's see so ground and this bit and this bit is not it's not ground this one it is ground you can see on the multimeter is zero and this one this is still is, is ground okay so on this case it's not a component which will pass the voltage because you can find on different different variation yeah either is passing the voltage either is connected to ground so yeah so you have the plus and here is the minus yeah so most likely this is a center diode and that's all you what you have to do now should work now if we connect this board to the phone should charge and work fine But this is just an uh, you know a small example how uh, you know sometimes can happen even with good chargers you have a spike on voltage so let's connect the cables and test now yeah plug the charger And it's not short anymore. Hopefully you can see. So the voltage is not going off. It's taking 0 0.2, which is mean it's not charging. <laughs> Hopefully it's not, you know, has not more faults. Can have more faults. Or most likely can be only a low battery. Yeah. So you see like 0 0.2. If the battery is very low, the the battery will get the voltage will get recovered with a low charging current. Okay? So we have 0 0.2, that means it's not charging, it's just taking a little bit of power. And what we can do is, it has a seal here. We can charge the battery a little bit, or we can wait. But we don't like to wait, no, we don't have time to wait, so let's just push the battery a little bit. So here should be over one amp, yeah? And right now we have like 200 milliamps. Okay, it's not even point open, it's already 0 0.8. But the phone is not displaying for some reason. The screen is not here. 
okay it is displaying so we have 1.3 amps and we have the charging sign you can see the current 1.3 amps so everything is fine we didn't wait too long and that's all that's how you fix a phone in five minutes a phone who wait in a shop on a computer shop for two weeks okay that's all let's put it all back together yeah I know what you're thinking and you are right now the phone doesn't have any protection against high voltage but at least we have a working phone okay So this one has a second chance to make the owner happy it would be nice you know to make like a stock with uh, this kind of uh, well, not necessarily this kind, but like any SMD tenor diodes. Just to have them on stock and eventually replace them. On a case like this. But we don't have something like that. Still charging 1.2 amps, which is fine. this was an easy one all you have to do is to stick back the the back cover and everything is fine yeah so the phone is charging you can see the the charging sign and it's taking 1.2 amps which is perfectly fine okay we have a working phone now I know you'll say it's dodgy but you know what can I do? I don't have that center diode. I should say no. I say I can't fix it. <laughs> yeah, so that's the thing. It's, it's so small. That's the component which made the phone dead. But the intention is good to have a protection on the, on the charging uh, voltage. So no extra voltage. It will pass from... Uh, because of this center diode okay so i'll stop now thank you for watching like and subscribe if you like the video and see you on the next one i'll try to find something more exciting yeah bye